It's straight jacket day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see a fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Again, everybody, Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all out attack on the QB. His only chip. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, uh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead! And it's first and ten. Brick shit and picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Huh? Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic! Second down in a very lot. scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right... There's a bloody red head on the field! No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out saying, well done! Bang. He broke free and has open field in front of him! You can't keep a good mutant! He's at the 10! Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone! Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell! He has better footwork though than me! On account of not clenching his cheeks though! A 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and, well, good luck. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in. And like bricks and bowels, he is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Oh. The point dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a pick play. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And 
and it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First down and five. It's called a zap attack. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He could go all the way. He's at the 20, the 10. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight... Oh, my God! A man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And now the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And it's first and ten. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. And that'll be second and eight to go. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this up, man. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's running out of gas now. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, so close, but not today.
and it's first and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly like Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, when they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. First down and six. <laughs> That's a four-yard game. Second down and two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. First down and nine. For six, touchdown! Touchdown!
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, uh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Defense gets another pick. Man, oh, nice hit. You can put a pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the ground screw is going to use a pitchfork to toss him onto the mutant meat wagon. Hey, hey Grim, wouldn't it make more sense to use a spatula? Yeah, good point. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This... The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. Yeah. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? First and four. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger pick. And he's off to the races. Look at that little First and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he's running like a moose. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl the offense wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up yeah, same as brits and ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey hey i almost got that mutant bingo all i need is 77 to bite it the offense changes the pace 
by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Brad, can I kill him? And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost power and green. Like a haiku. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. The kick is good. Glenn, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Glenn? Aren't we all? That's a gain of 10 yards. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Glenn. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up, Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. <laughs> the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Oh, man, he just killed that guy. When the insane cults do their blood dance after taking apart the opposition in a win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Uh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? Hey, man. You see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.